Okay, so now you have your t-shirt pinned to the bottom of the bag, which you just finished sewing. So you've got pins all the way around the circle. And so now we are going to sew the two pieces together. But wait, Cory, where do you start sewing? It's a circle. Thanks for asking, Zach. <laughs> You can actually start sewing wherever you want! Oh my gosh! Because it's a circle? Because it's a circle! Uh, um, <laughs> I'm just going to start right here behind the seam then. Yeah, so I usually like to start sewing where there is a seam. And on this project, there are two side seams. So you could choose either one and start a little bit before or a little bit after. I think that that's an easy way to start and it um, kind of makes it disappear a little bit more. The stitching might be thicker there if you're going back and forth a little bit. I will try the other seam. Oh, you're doing something different. Nice. Sound effects are optional. Sound effects are definitely not optional. <laughs> All right, so you are putting that in just one of your um, just, just the two just the two layers of fabric. Okay. And so, what are you going to do before you start oh, sewing? Oh, I got to put the foot down. You have to put the foot down exactly. Like I'm serious. I'm going to do this. I'm putting my foot down. All right. Jew. All right. Here we go. I'm going to do an advanced maneuver, possibly. Whoa, totally advanced. Well done, good sir. Oh, this doesn't feel good underneath. It feels like this other fabric's not really lining up. Oh, maybe you needed more pins. <sighs> how can you tell how many pins you need? If the fabric is slippery and it's not staying in place, then you probably need more pins. It's also, this inside part is really thin. All right, it's not as deep, you know? So it's not That's gonna okay. really slide over the edge very well. That's okay. Notice I'm doing all this with the thread out, so good, good choice. Right. It's okay. Yeah, so that's good. That's a good way to correct for not having enough pins in there. You can just go a little bit slower and double check as you go along that your two pieces of fabric are, that the edges are lining up together. So you're doing a great job. Okay. I also noticed another problem. Looks like maybe the t-shirt's a little bit wider than yep. the bag. When I first started off, I was trying to... Pr time. That's I was okay. tr trying to provide tension because it made it easier to sew along that, that straight line when the fabric was... You were trying to pull stuff? Or? And so I pulled a little bit too much on the top and this t-shirt fabric is so much more stretchier than the fabric underneath. It just kind of is going to make a lump. Yeah, so you don't really want to pull the fabric because um, that's what the, the feed dogs are going to do all that work for you. What you can do if you notice that the t-shirt is a little bit wider is actually um, try to guide the t-shirt a little bit um, with your hands so that it so that you're mushing a little bit of the fabric in more of the fabric in there um, mm. if that makes sense yeah, so you don't necessarily want to make like gathers but if you can kind of it's called easing if you can ease the t-shirt um, fabric in so that it's even with the um, with the fabric below. The t-shirt's just a little bit stretchy and the fabric below it doesn't stretch and that's probably why we've got that problem. But I think you're doing great. That was tough at first, but I'm getting the hang of it. I just kind of got to rotate it. Yeah, so you could have used and a few more pins. I think that would make I it a little so bit too. easier. I have no frame of reference. That's okay, but you could actually stop right now if you wanted to too, and just throw some pins in while, like, while the fabric is in the machine. So also, I could. It's okay. But, but I'll stop for nothing. We're gonna make this video right now. So this looks like a spot where you're going to want to try to ease the t-shirt in. Mm. Do you see? Because it looks like it's a little bit lumpy. So, so do I want to pull or push? You want to push the t-shirt okay, in a little okay, bit. Okay, I got you, I got you. Like this. Yeah. Just kind of 
here's where you're going to want to go, buddy. Yeah. Right oh, that looks there. great. Get him. Trying to ease you. Yeah. Just ease. Yeah. It's real easy. Mm. Yeah. Easy as can be. Easy. Looks like we made a little lump there. We made a lump. But, uh, sometimes, but that's okay too. Sometimes you got to make a couple of lumps to cook a shopping bag. Yes. I don't know what that means. Don't put that. Don't put that part on me. All right. Getting a little lump here. It's building up. Ease. Ease. I'm sorry that I didn't check your work to make sure that you had enough pins in it before we got started. Hey. I thought I told you to put it. Like. You told me I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the husband in this relationship. So be careful that listen. you don't sew that into oh! the edge. Yep. Yep. Did Price I sew the averted. first one? I don't know. We're going to find out after you're done. After you, yeah, because this okay. is the end of the circle. So right, here we go. we'll find out in a few. Here we go. It's just like the Girl Scouts. That's how long I want to be your sewing buddy. How long I want to be your sewing buddy. <laughs> I want to sew you right into my life. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, y'all! Ta da! Advanced maneuver. Advanced maneuver, do it to it. Alright! Lock it again. Uh, lock it again! Actually, that's too many, isn't it? Because now right. I just. Compromise okay. the integrity of our fabric. You didn't at all. Don't do what I do, Internet.